We've heard that Melbourne hasn't got the best beaches, so we're going to be the judge of that today and we're going to head down and check out some of the beaches in the area. We're going to take a walk all the way from the CBD area down to Port Melbourne first and then all the way along the coast down to Brighton Beach. Melbourne Beach which is the closest beach to the CBD area it's actually really nice it's a really really big beach there's a lovely promenade to walk along all the way down we just come around the corner and it seems to be like 15 volleyball courts all the way down and there's so many people here back in the UK you normally have rugby games or football games on a Sunday but in Australia you have volleyball games on the beach we started off at Port Melbourne Beach then we went to South Melbourne Beach and now we've got to Park Middle Park Middle Park Beach so it's basically just one long beach stretched all the way down the coastline and then they've just named different sections of it different things we've also got the long promenade stretched all the way down as well so it makes it really easy to get out go for a run a jog or just a walk along the beach They've got like a market all the way along here. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it looks like there's a bunch of like independent businesses all with like different like craft bits and things. Yeah, pretty like cool. jewellery and yeah, art and like handbags cool. and stuff. Yeah, it's really cool. They've also got a Luna Park here in St. Kilda like they did in Sydney. We did think about going in, but an entry fee and a single ride cost $15. And for an unlimited ride is $51, which is quite expensive. If we could just go in and take a little look, we would have but you've even got a pay just to go in. Considering it's not really like a big theme park, it's just like a little amusement park. They look incredible. They all look so good, every single one of them. We picked up some food from the St Kilda Main Street and it was a really nice area. Definitely a young vibe, lots of people out for brunch and things. We picked up some fish and chips from Tommy Tucker's and we've come down to the beach to eat it. Whoa, there's a lot in there. They look really yellow, don't they? Luckily we went for a large to share, so I feel like two mediums would have been too big. Oh god, I never would have eaten a medium on my own. They look like some fluffy anyway. It's a pretty good chip. But obviously the main thing that we've got is the fish. Now we got one to share because, again, it's pretty big. Oh, the batter looks really crispy. I'll uh, put some lemon on it. I'm just going to rip some off. That's unreal. Is it? Like, that's unreal. Better than the one we had at Bondi? Yeah. The <gasps> batter is just so much. The batter is better. God, you've got to taste it. Ooh. That's so probably, much better. That's the best fish we've ever That's the best fish I've had in my life. And look at the view that we're having lunch to today. We've got the sea, St Kilda Beach, and in the background, I don't know if you can see, but there is the skyline of Melbourne CBD. All these seagulls just come in and ruined our lunch spot, so we're gonna move on, and I think we're just gonna eat them while we're walking. We just grabbed everything and ran. I've never walked it so quickly in my life. Come to a point Ormond lookout, and just look the view of the skyline behind me. Awesome. I can imagine this place is really cool for sunset. Yes, definitely. We're going to carry on walking along the coast and this is the Elbow Beach that we're coming up to now. Okay guys, we've just made it to Brighton Beach. I think this is as far as we come in. It definitely looks like the nicest beach that we've come across today. It's a lot bigger in terms of width to the sea. Seems quite long as well. We're gonna head down there and check that area out. The biggest one we've been to, I think I just heard you say that. And it's a lot cleaner. We've seen a lot of rubbish on the other beaches, but there's like no rubbish on this one. It's really nice. We passed loads of huge modern houses along the way. So we're definitely in a nice area. Sand on this beach is really strange. It's like a mixture of sand and shells. But not like full nice pretty shells, like really tiny broken bits of shells. I don't know if you can see, but the CBD area is all the way over there. I've just realised how far we've actually walked today. First part is we've got to walk all the way back. 
<laughs> okay, you might be thinking that the walk here is a bit far and we shouldn't have come all the way here, but this is the reason that we've come all the way to Brighton Beach. Look at all these little tiny beach houses. There's just all these beach houses and they stretch all the way down the beach. So I think we're gonna try and get some cool pictures. Probably about a hundred of them all together and they're all painted different colours, different styles and you could tell that some are new and some are also old but I think this dolphin one is probably my favourite. So this place is actually super busy, there's loads of people here taking photos and people have like colour coordinated their outfits to match the hat that they chose to take a photo yeah. for them. I guess they've got a green outfit on, they're taking a picture next to a green hat. It's quite funny. But it's probably the like most busy space that we've seen along the beaches at all. Oh yeah, definitely. The rest of the beach has been really quiet. Imagine living in one of these houses along here and just looking out over this view of the CBD area in the background and when the sun sets, it should set in the distance over there as well. I did not realise you could do skydiving so close to Melbourne city centre. Neither did I. We really wanted to do skydiving at some point while we're in Australia, but we're not quite sure yet. Yeah, we've heard that Early Beach and the Wet Sundays is the best place. Yeah, we've heard it's Early Beach, yeah. yeah. That's where we've heard it's the best place. But if you've got any recommendations on where we should do skydiving, we'll try it and get around to it. Yeah, it is something we really, really want to do. So let us know. Yeah. We've come back down to St Kilda Beach, we're out on the pier, we've come onto this jetty sort of area. There's like no one else on you. And you've got this view of the city. It's just so peaceful, it's, it's so quiet. We've seen on TikTok that it was like somewhere to come down to watch the sunset. Yeah, but as you can tell by the clouds, the sunset isn't looking very promising. It did say it was meant to be purely just sun now and no clouds. But that's changed, as we know, by how quickly the weather changes in Melbourne. Giving up on the sunset is way too cloudy. It doesn't look as if the sun's coming back out. So it doesn't look as if it'll be a good one. So hopefully we can catch one tomorrow. We've done about 40,000 steps today. So we're going to call it a day and head back to the hotel.